LabelWrite is a versatile application that allows you to design and print just about any format of barcode label. This tutorial will walk you through the process of setting up and printing a basic label, a simple UPC label in this case. The first thing you should do when creating a label in LabelWrite is to set your label size and layout. Start by selecting the Form drop-down and then click Setup. You can either lay out your form manually by entering in the label and form measurements yourself, or if you are using a common label format, you can select one of the pre-built forms. For our example, we'll use the Avery 5160 form. In the Form Setup window, select the File menu and then Open. Browse to the Form Layouts folder, which is part of the LabelWrite samples we provided. Select Avery as the files of type, and then click on the 5160 form. The next screen displays the dimensions of the individual labels as well as the layout of the rows and columns on the page. The form setup screen gives you an overview of the form layout on the left. As you can see, the 5160 stock has 30 labels per sheet. Taking a closer look at the dimensions of the 5160 stock, you can see that there is a top margin of a half an inch. The top margin is the measurement from the top of the sheet to where the first row of labels begins. Similarly, the left margin is the measurement between the left side of the sheet and to where the first column of labels begins, 0.21 inches in this case. There are 10 rows of labels on each page with a new row, also known as a row offset, starting every one inch. Likewise, there are three columns of labels with a new column or offset starting every 2.75 inches. If you happen to be using a non-standard or less common label stock and you don't find a pre-built form in our samples, you can simply uncheck the auto-fitting option and enter in the form dimensions yourself. When the form displayed matches your label stock, you're ready to start designing. Click OK to get back to the design screen. The screen now displays one label, 2.625 inches wide and one inch tall. To add a barcode to the label, click on the barcode tool at the top of the screen. And then click on the label to place that barcode. Don't worry about positioning just yet as you'll be able to move the barcode around your label later on. The new field dialog box now appears on our screen. This dialog allows you to control the details of each individual element going on your label. Since this is a barcode field, let's start by selecting the type of barcode. Click on the font button, and you'll see a variety of barcode symbologies listed. In this case, we're going to select UPC and EAN. Set the option to UPC A, and no supplements. Density controls the width of the printed barcode. Set that to medium for a standard size symbol. Size determines the height of the barcode. We don't want this barcode to take up too much of the label, so for the time being we'll set it to 36 points or approximately one half inch high. In creating barcodes, it's also sometimes required that you include text with the barcode symbol. If you'd like LabelWrite to automatically produce this text, click the Include Human Readable option. When you're finished, click OK to take you back to the new field dialog. Now we can enter data for the barcode itself. A UPCA barcode is 12 digits total, but only the first 11 digits are chosen by the user. The last is a checksum and will be calculated by LabelWrite automatically. Click on the data field and then enter in your 11 digit number. Once you're done, click OK and your barcode will now appear on the label. You can take this opportunity to adjust the position of the barcode. Click on the arrow or select tool at the top, and then click and drag the barcode to your desired position. Note that most barcodes require one half inch of white space to the right and the left of the barcode symbol. This is called a quiet zone, and it's important to keep that in mind when placing barcodes near the edge of the label or around other elements that appear on your label. We can add other elements to the label as well. Let's start by adding a line of descriptive text. Click on the text tool at the top. Click on the position where you'd like the text to appear on the label, and you'll see the new field dialog box appear once again. Since this is a text field, the options are a little different. For example, clicking the font button will offer the option of using any of the text fonts you have installed in Windows. You can also select attributes like italic or bold, and also set the point size of the text. After the font options are set as needed, clicking OK will take you back to the new field dialog. Enter in your label text at the top. And then click OK. 
As before, if you need to move the text, click on the Select tool and drag the text to the desired position. We'll create one more text field, this time for price. Once again, click on the text tool. Click where you want the text to appear. Click on the font button to set typeface, attributes, and size. Enter data. Click OK. and move the field if needed. Our label design is finished, but before we try to print, it's important to save your work. Click on the File menu at the top, and then select Save or Save As. Select the Destination folder. Give your design a file name. And then click Save. Your label design or template is saved with a .lbz extension. Before we can print, we need to check our printer settings. Start by clicking on the File menu at the top. And then select Print Setup. Setup dialog will offer your default printer as the first choice, but you can choose any of your installed printers. Note that we find the best quality labels are printed with a laser printer. After selecting the printer, you next want to select the barcode type and resolution. Since we want the highest resolution barcodes possible, we suggest using the bitmap barcode option. Next, set the printer class to match the current resolution of your printer. For example, if you are printing to a 600 dots per inch laser printer, Set the printer class to 600 dpi. Refer to your printer documentation if you aren't sure what resolution your printer prints at. Now we're ready to print some labels. To print, click on the File menu up at the top and then select the Print option. In almost every case, we recommend doing a test print on plain paper before printing hundreds of labels on more expensive label stock. But in this case, we're just going to print a simple single sheet. To print, set the number of labels you wish to print. In this example, we just want 30 labels or enough to fill a single sheet. Then click on the print button. And that's it. Your print job is sent to the printer. That's the basic process to creating a simple label. There are many other options available, but you are now armed with the skills to create your own design. LaborRite's built-in help topics cover some of the more advanced options and capabilities. Go to the Help menu and select Contents to access the complete manual. LabelWrite is loaded with features like unlimited fields per label, tools to add graphics or images, and even an add-on for Excel that allows you to print directly from a worksheet. You can find more information on LabelWrite, as well as a working demo version, on our website at www.barcodehq.com.